Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 3 on the Bijou Assembly Series. So I've done a bunch of work as you can see here. Um, there's actually a lot of changes. Um, I have actually assembled the belted Z as well here. Um, long story short, I was troubleshooting a whole bunch of issues this week with um, print quality and things like that and I thought it was the lead screw bed. Um, it turns out it was not. Um, however, I'm not ready to release the lead screw bed for the MK1 release. Um, I do have it here. Basically, uh, I did go with uh, kind of a much stronger bed um, as far as the uh, 2020s now. However, the distance between this carriage and this carriage that varies between printer to printer, so this can't be one piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a slit right here so that these can be moved just ever so slightly out and in so that you can adjust it for your printer. But I mean, otherwise this is uh, like is a really nice bed. And now that I know it wasn't the bed's fault, um, I just wanna do some more testing with that before I release it. Um, so, MK1 release is going to have the belted Z right away and there's a couple reasons for that. One big one is I made a bunch of changes to the idlers, the Z idlers for the belted Z. Bijou is now about 140 by 140 print area. We gained roughly 30 millimeters of, of printable area. So it's no longer 110 by 110. So both now the lead screw belt and the belted Z will have the same build area. And that was a big thing that I really wanted to fix with this design. So I made a bunch of changes this week. Um, I changed the motor mounts so that the linear rails can mount lower down and they're not obstructing the rail, uh, the 2020 here, so that the tool head, it can go all the way over and touch this. And that's where we got, we basically got 13 millimeters on each side essentially for the X, which is really, really big. So I've made a whole bunch of changes with that. They're on the GitHub now. I've updated and changed my M5 Y carriages here. I am using M5 bearings now. Uh, those are all good. There's still the M3 ones on the GitHub. I've done a bunch of upgrades to my tool head here. It's stronger. There's one less part to print for the clicky probe. It's kind of integrated into the back. Um, I've assembled sail fin. Uh, this is uh, another sail fin on here. Again, I was troubleshooting issues, so this is actually supposed to be the sail fin for Bijou. You can just look up on YouTube on how to assemble a Sherpa Mini from Annex Engineering, and it's uh, basically the same thing to uh, um, assemble a sail fin. So this does support Bowden and also direct drive via sail fin here. So there's that. So I've assembled all that and I actually have this printing. So let's queue up a print here while we're chatting. We'll just do like a relatively basic benchy, nothing fancy. Again, this printer is not meant to do like speed benchies or win any races or anything like that. This printer is designed just to be a desktop kind of printer. You can print off little knickknacks, things like that. Um, relatively quickly so um, I say relatively quickly I'm talking about like two or three thousand acceleration with like a hundred millimeters a second really it's the layer cooling fan that's gonna let down the speed this printer could definitely print faster but there's a lot of things that you need to do before that happens and again I'm hoping people mod this printer you could add like a big huge fan to the front of this blowing across the bed would probably help um, mod some tool heads and stuff like that. I'm probably gonna have a, a surprise for you guys here. Um, once this printer releases, like the next day, I'm gonna have a surprise. Um, so really stay tuned to my channel for, for that. And then officially Bijou is gonna be 100% done. I'm gonna move on to Simple Core, which um, is a long time coming for a proper build series and a proper MK1 release for Simple Core. But, um, yeah, let, let me uh, take my phone off my tripod here and let's go around the uh, the printer here really quick. So 
you can see here my new tool head and you can see here it's just the tool head now has the clicky mount integrated into it there's just this extra dock piece that goes onto the back it's much stronger and the layer cooling fan actually bolts to the side now it's no more hot glue or anything like that you can see my new z idler mounts they sit much much lower perfect clearance so it's all good for um, getting that full z or that full x travel like i say um, basically brought it up to 150x or 145x something like that so essentially this printer is 150 or 140 by 140 and then 120 z height so it's it's actually a really nice size i think um, and like i say it's primarily meant to print uh, pla you could probably get away with pet g um, nothing even if you added like a a uh, heater under here nothing's actually physically touching the um the pla or whatever you're printing this printer out of um i don't know that it would be too too bad i've printed pet g on painter's tape with without a heated bed as well like it really depends on what you're printing that type of thing but um yeah so like i say so far i'm really happy uh this is uh, essentially the print quality here a bijou right now so my hot end, um, I will say, is dying. Um, it's leaking filament. Uh, it's really, I got a bad one right out of the box. That's kind of the chance you take with these $10 hot ends. Um, mine, mine is just not good. Uh, I think I have a bunch of issues that are happening with the hot end. I've got around them kind of with some fixes in my slicer. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually really happy. A uh, really nice Benchy. Um, it's it's quite nice but like I say my retractions are at like four millimeters retraction on direct drive that's pretty high uh, again I think that's all due to my uh, hot end is kind of dying and really really crappy quality so like I say there's gonna be a big update to this printer I'm hoping here on that and uh, we'll just let this print kind of pick up here for a little bit and then you can kind of see so the printer, again, it's not meant to print like at a snail's pace or anything like that, but it's definitely not meant to, in its current form, win any speed benches or anything like that. Maybe I'll try uh, later on once the printer, uh, the tool head kind of surprise is, is released and uh, we'll do some more videos on that. But I want to get this out to people and finish this build series and um, let people assemble Bijou if they want to. So. Yeah, essentially the mechanicals of this printer is done. The CAD is done. All the new parts are, are gonna be on GitHub. Um, I, I don't see any issues with the printer. I'm happy with how it builds. I'm happy with the bill of materials, that type of thing. I'll probably go in and, and edit a couple things with like uh, bolts and nuts and things like that. But as I've said before, this printer doesn't use a lot of hardware. Um, if you buy yourself an M3 like assorted kit off of Amazon and like an M5 assorted kit off of Amazon, essentially you're gonna have all the bolts and parts that you're gonna need. You will need some pieces for Clicky Probe, like some magnets and some end stops. You can find that on Clicky's uh, GitHub page. Magnets are crazy cheap, like it's $13 for a hundred of them in Canada, like, and then you can build as many Clickies as you want. And then I bought some Omron switches, just like 10 Omron switches from DigiKey or whatever. So again, I can build a bunch of clickies now, so. But yeah, uh, leave a comment or a question below. Uh, as always, I'll have my Discord for the Bijou channel down below. I'll have my Patreon down below. I'll have the GitHub for this printer down below. And uh, yeah, I would really love more people joining the Discord. We have an awesome community there, not just for Bijou. We have all sorts of printers on there. Um, my Bamboo X1 has a channel on there. We have Mercury One stuff on there. We have users building custom printers on there. Really, really great community. So this will wrap up episode three. I'm probably going to do a final episode four and we'll just go over the config file for this printer. Just to give people who aren't familiar with maybe sensorless homing and that type of thing, we'll run through the config file and that type of thing. And uh, yeah, that'll be official end to uh, Bijou and it will be the uh, Mark One release. So thanks again everyone. I appreciate all the new subscribers and I'll see you next time.